Welcome to the Grace Girls and Company podcast, hosted by none other than yours truly, Julie Tussie. This is a podcast for all the Grace Girls Jesus sends to listen in and join us. This podcast is filled with the word, encouragement, and sassy verb to help you be you and do you because he created you. All of our guests are going to inspire and fire you up and they're going to encourage you in a way you probably haven't been encouraged in a long time. So join us now as we go into the Grace Girls and Company podcast. Welcome to the Grace Girls and Company podcast and happy 2021. Woo woo! We made it. If you are hearing this, you have made it through the hellacious year of 2020. And we have a lot of great things going on. Now you're going to hear a lot of cross recording. I'm going to call it cross recording because the Lord has called my husband, Gary, and me to begin to pastor a virtual church. We're going to be on Facebook, YouTube, those different places. And so I am learning, you all, (laughs) I am learning to optimize my time. So I'm going to be doing a lot of recording for the Julie Tussie show, which is a weekly podcast. And as much as I can for Grace Girls is going to be recorded at the same time and shared. So I'm going to take you into a podcast here. But first, I want to tell you, if you're on Facebook or YouTube, please go look up uh, City Harvest Limitless Church. City Harvest Limitless Church. We're working with Pastor Rod Parsley. A lot of amazing things are going on, and I'll share more with you as the year goes on. But every Sunday morning at 9 a.m. plus replays, my loves. So go on Facebook and and become part of Limitless Church or City Harvest Limitless Church. I love y'all. And here we go into a wonderful topic called This Is Your Year. It's a prophetic word from the Lord just for you. I love you all so, so much. So very, very busy here in the studio, but happy 2021. Woo! Yes. Goodbye, 2020. I am so glad that 2020 is gone. Aren't you guys? Give me a woo woo or a heart or some love here on Facebook. Give me a shout. Those of you listening, um, oh my gosh, 2020 was, let's just say, a nightmare. Let's just say a nightmare, y'all, right? It was a tough year. A very tough year, but we made it. If you're watching this or listening to this, you made it. So congratulations. Yes, yes. Was it a battle? Yes. (laughs) But God was faithful to see us through. God was faithful to see us through. So while we're doing it, the podcast. We are also on Facebook Live. So shout out to all my my um, posse on Facebook Live. Hello, Susan. Hi, Lee. Hi, Sheila. Oh my goodness. There's so many people popping in. Thank you. Hi, jo- is it Jana or Jonah? Probably Jana, maybe. Love love un- unusual names, but until I get to meet the person, it can be tough, right? <laughs> So we're doing this simulcast and we're also shooting Julie Tussie Television for the Tussie Television channel on YouTube. Now, if you haven't found that, please go and find it. You are going to love it. We're putting out some great content. So today I have a word, literally a word for you from God. Okay, like I... I don't know. I had friends that were like, in October, God told me thus and such about 2021. And I'm just thinking the only thing that was coming to me was let's have some fun in 21, right? Because 2020, I mean, I am a strong woman of faith. I have fought and fought my way through as many of you are the same strong men and women of God and in, in standing in faith and believing God and I tell you what, I, I to, here in the last couple months, I have had to really work to stay on my game, not to get into de- depression or feeling down because things just are just, uh, you know, they're just like that. But so my friends are getting these words and these prophets are getting these words. And I'm, all I can think is, let's have some fun in 21. And so I went to bed on uh, New Year's Eve. We went to bed about like 930, you all. Yes, yes. I'm not as young as I look. Wink, wink. <laughs> And I was tired. We've been doing, believe it or not, we've been doing renovation. We um we bought a house that we built to sell. 
And so it wasn't exactly our dream home, and there's needs that we have and storage needs and stuff that, and we really downsized to move here, but we're next to our baby, right? Our baby came, and um, we were building a house next door for our daughter. So we decided to buy this house. So we've had to renovate. So we've been working and working all through the holidays, all through the week between a Christmas and New Year's. We've been working, and so well, I'm tired. You know, I got tired. Gary's tired. So normally, 7 o'clock is sleeping in for me, and we were up and down, up and down, three or four times in the night, had a couple hot flashes. Can I get an amen to this from the sisters there? And I didn't hardly sleep all night that all night. So at 9 o'clock in the morning, God wakes me up, and he said, get out of bed and go write this down. So I jumped up, went out and wrote down a specific word for 2021. Now, I don't know if God's just always a last minute God with me (laughs) because I do have a gift, prophetic gift on my life and have had since I was 17 and I just kind of know stuff. So God said, get up and write this down. So I have a great word for you today about 2021 and what you can expect and how your life can change. So I'm really, really excited about that. But before we do that, I wanted to tell you that today, as I'm doing this, this is the 2nd of January, 2021 on a Saturday. And hi, Steve. It's good to see you. Um, Hi, Scott. So on a Saturday, I'm sitting here in the studio um, and I am getting ready with my husband tomorrow to launch a virtual church on Facebook and then eventually on YouTube. Now we'll repost it on YouTube and all of that, but we're going to be right here in the studio. We need your help really to do a complete launch and Um, Gary and I have been building this studio. It's an audio and television studio for over 20 years. We've invested, invested, and we just kind of go piece by piece. We will not go into debt. The ministry is completely debt free. We're not going to go into debt. We're going to believe God, right? So, So we go out in the studio yesterday. It, there's a there's a studio here that's smaller, and then there's the big television studio out there, which it sounds big, but it's not that big. <laughs> but it's bigger than this room. And so we go out there, and we're trying, and we probably should have started working on this a while ago. But we are trying and trying and trying to get the shots to work where the cameras are rolling, but the YouTube, uh, I mean, the Facebook Live is rolling at the same time, right? So the camera can be many feet away from you. And then when you go and put a camera, uh, a phone camera on a stand in front of a camera camera, <laughs> Guess what you got? A mess. A mess. So we could not get the Facebook Live close enough to us to look professional. And one thing that Gary and I want to do is whatever we do, we want to do it with excellence, right? So we worked and worked. We worked for a couple hours. We're moving the cam. We won't move our main cameras because when you have your main cameras in a studio, your lighting is key. And it can take literally you all hours to get your lighting correct. Where when you're standing in one place, you have light on your face. When you're standing in another place you're not in a shadow and blah 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 so we have it set up for just going in and sitting down and doing it just like I'm doing it now and it fits the format but unfortunately when you do television your screen is wider from right to left and when you do Facebook live it's taller right so it's a conflict of interest well there is a piece of equipment that we are believing God to get we've wanted it for two years we've needed it for one year but Gary and I will not go in debt to get it. (laughs) So it's about $1,200. So on the um, Saturday morning show, we talk to everybody. If you want to donate, it's so simple. Just go to TussieOnline.com to help us get this piece of equipment. You can become a partner there. You can sign up on the mailing list. You can listen to music. You can see videos. You can find us on social media. It's a really cool site that we're building. We're in the middle of building it, but it's operational and functional. And you can find us there. You can reach out to us there. And you can reach out to me here on Facebook. If you want to email, it's thisgracegirllife at gmail.com. Thisgracegirllife at gmail.com. So, since you're here, 
pray about it, think about it if you want to help. We're, we're going to raise $1,200 to buy this piece of equipment. And what this thing does is phenomenal. It multiplies what we're doing here in the studio. See, I'm Italian. I keep talking with my hands. It multiplies what we're doing here in the studio by streaming it to our all our Facebook accounts, uh, the Limitless Church page. Go, I'll put a link in here. Go over there and join that for tomorrow. Um, and we're going to be on every Sunday morning at 9. You can do the replay. We'll be able to do YouTube Live, Instagram Live, Facebook Live on several pages. So it opens up this platform that multiplies it. You know, if it's $100 and you do five times, you know what I'm saying? It multiplies that much. It's not like doubling, but it's going to be like four or five times as many people as we're reaching right now. Hi, Jennifer. It's good to see you. So... We're super, super excited. I believe I received. God's going to supply it. It'll come in his perfect timing. We'll have it and we'll be doing that. But I wanted to share that with you. So go over to TussieOnline.com. You can become a partner with us there. You can sign up on the mailing list. There's a donate button on the very first page right next to mine and Gary's picture. And you can give an offering that is tax deductible to The Voice Incorporated 501c3. So uh, if you want to help us get that piece of equipment, just go there to tussieonline.com slash give. We'll be right back after these messages. So many women are reaching out to me and asking why my skin is looking younger and younger. Well, I started on my Neora journey, and I have to tell you, I'm calling this a facelift in a bottle. If you'd like to get your skincare set today, visit julietussie.neora.com. That's julietussie.neora.com. You can also reach out to me at This Grace Girl Life at gmail.com with any questions and inquiries. The Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast are outreaches of The Voice Incorporated, a nonprofit ministry. If you would like to give an offering or become a monthly VIP voice impact partner, please go to tussieonline.com slash give. That's tussieonline.com slash give. If you'd like to go to Venmo, you can go and look for The Voice INC and also on the Cash App, the money symbol, The Voice INC. We thank you so much for your support, your partnership, your prayers, and your consideration in giving. Our City Harvest Churches. Now, we did pray about a long time about actually having a physical church, but we just don't feel like that that's what we're supposed to do right now. So we are having a virtual church and many people are doing that. What I love about it is once you do it, it's there, it's there forever. The word of God is, is timeless. It is timeless and God will lead you to hear the things that you need to hear right when you need to hear them, right? So who knows? A year from now, you might hear a message that we did, and it'll be just on time for you. That's how God works. Hi, Randall. Tussie, good to see you. So, I, I like I said, I usually kind of get a word from God for the year, um, because many people just get a word from God. They'll pray, and it's very important, and they'll get a word like purpose, um, uh, determination, uh, prayer, whatever, you know, to kind of guide their life for that year. I like that. I like that a lot. But I have this mantle on my life, if you will. I don't know what else to call it, but I just have a prophetic gift in my life. And so I was I was uh, talking to the Lord a year ago, and I'm like, God, what's going to happen? And the only thing that the Lord told me for 2020 was he said, when you do your first podcast, I want you to talk about the new the era how do you say it the new era the new era of the roaring 20s well we're talking about january 1st no covid no corona no no my sharona no none of that was going on and so i was like wow you know that means it's going to be like a party like the roaring 20s that's that's in my mind what i was thinking and this is how god works with me some so much but it's kind of hard because I don't know anything except what he tells me to say. <laughs> so as I began that podcast, and you can go back and hear it on um, the Julie Tussie Show podcast, which is on iHeartRadio, iTunes, Spreaker, wherever you're listening, just about you can get it. So as I began to share, I I remember saying, 
the theme of what I was talking about, because I just God was just showing me things as I was sharing it, was that when the 2020s roar at us, we are going to roar back. And boy, did I, I was really kind of surprised that that was the way that the the message went, okay? Because I was thinking, yay, it's going to be a party, blah, 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 you know, it's going to be a fun year, 2020, yeah. And I didn't want to do the traditional 2020 vision, you know, I just knew that wasn't the message that God was going to have me share. So I talked about when the 20s roared us, we are going to roar back. And you talk about having to fight. We have had to stand and fight, my brothers and sisters, this coronavirus. Our whole entire life and world changed overnight. And you talk about the roaring 20s coming in. Wow. I mean, that that was a trip. And we're still believing God that coronavirus is going to die, that people are going to be healed. Um, my Christmas program, if you haven't heard it, go back. A True Christmas Miracle. Um, Brother Kenneth True, who is a friend of ours, and his wife Susan, they faced... They faced the coronavirus with him getting it and the doctors literally telling her he is probably not going to live. And God just did miraculous things. And that man was, oh my gosh, the way God moved in their life. And of course, there's a lot of recovery. So if you think of Susan and Kenneth True, their ministers pray for them because they're still walking through some things. But I believe ultimately God is going to heal him. But there are people on ventilators. We're praying and believe in God for them to turn around, to have healing in their body, to have health. They're finding all this stuff, right? So here we are at the end of 2020 and have now entered in two days of 2021. And we all want a different year. We all want a different year. Through 2020, I taught and shared with you that the Lord showed me that we could make 2020 a defining moment in our life instead of just raising up our hands, laying on the couch, eating bonbons, giving up on life and and taking on all the weight of that, that we could take that time with God to figure out what we were going to do with our lives. I did, I did that very seriously. Pastor Gary did that very seriously. And we actually started Tussie Television and did a lot of things with that. Now, if you didn't do that, that's okay. Because it's not been an easy time. And God is an on-time God. So as soon as you're ready, he's ready. Right? As soon as you're ready, he's ready. So we talked about all that. So then, like I told you in the beginning, uh, yesterday morning, finally... Finally, I hear from the Lord what he wants me to share uh, on for 2020. And I'm so excited about it. I am so excited. So I'm going to I'm going to read it to you. I'm going to talk about some scriptures. But and I literally I don't know if this has ever happened to you, but I literally could hardly write as fast as he was talking. And so I'm not going to change what he said. I'm just going to say it. And this is what I'm going to be sharing and teaching on a lot in the coming year because it is time it is time that we have a comeback it is time that we have a comeback you all this is time this is your time it is time that we say okay maybe this is the way it's going to be for a while we're going to continue to pray and stand and believe god for coronavirus to die we're going to believe god for our businesses to make it we're going to believe god to fulfill the call the dreams the visions that he has given us but we are not going to sit back anymore. We are not going to sit back. If you've been sitting back and waiting for life to go back to normal, honey, it's time that we create our own new normal in this. So the word that God gave me, and I literally, it was cool to reread it today because I wrote it so fast I didn't catch all of it. But he said, 2020 was a time to reset, reevaluate, reexamine, and get the plan. Okay, so I feel like that many of us have done that. If you haven't done that, you can do it right now. But 2020 offered us the opportunity to be at home for hours and hours and hours, to have more time in our, our Bible, possibly, to have more time in prayer, to, to you know, clean out the closet, if you will, get rid of the things that you didn't want. And I really took the opportunity because I have raised six children My husband had two when we married. I had a set of twins, and then we had a set of twins. Hi, Carla. Hi, Carolyn. Again, it's good to see you all. Um, So 
as I went through these changes in my life, my whole life for 30 some years was raising children. They were 12 years. My twins were 12 years apart, almost 11 and a half years apart. So I had just gotten, you know, almost to the teenage stage and had to start again. So I felt like that's all I knew to do. And during that time, I was writing and recording music. We were ministering here and there as we could. You know, our life was very, very full. Well, when they graduated, my whole life changed. And I took that time to reevaluate. I literally cleaned out the closet of my life, if you will. And I decided, okay, I want this and I don't want that. God, what do you want for me? What do you want for me? I want what he wants in my life. So that's where I went. So I, so the Lord said 2020 was a time to reset to reevaluate, to reexamine. And we're still kind of in that place. And if you haven't done these things, take the month of January or a week or whatever you need to do and find out what it is that God wants for you and what you want for you. Because many times we're caught up in a job, we're caught up in a church, we're caught up in a situation, we're caught up in a lifestyle that just kind of happened by our choices along the way. This is a time to, to begin to define define what you want in your life. Make it a definition of what you want. When I clean out my closet, there may be things that I like, but do I really want them in my way, taking care of them, you know, paying for their space in my closet? No, no. So get rid of the old. Good morning, buddy. It's good to see you. Get rid of the things that you don't want in your life and begin to live the life that you want. What are you called to do? What are you created to do? What is your heart's desire? Are you in the job you want to be? Are you in the church you want to be in? Are you where you should be geographically? Are you living what God wants for you? Because when you live what God wants for you, you are going to be so happy. So go ahead and make those changes. Now, am I saying just go quit your church, go quit your job? Just no, 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 no. We have to be wise. If you want a change in your life, begin to pray and begin to take baby steps towards that change. Begin to make steps towards that change until you obtain that goal. All right, so 2020 was a time to reset, reevaluate, reexamine, and get the plan for your life. And this is what the Lord said. Buddy, I'm sharing that the Lord said, Happy New Year to you. The Lord gave me some things to tell everyone for 2021. So 2021, this is what the Lord told me. 2021 is a time to implement, execute, and fulfill the plan. This is your year to activate to come alive, to light the fire, and to play all out for Jesus. <laughs> I love that. You know, I don't know if you're like this, but I'm the kind of person that if I'm going to do it, I'm going to do it all the way, or I'm not going to do it at all. I hate flirting with things. I hate messing with things. I hate doing things halfway. I myself have had to make some decisions about how many podcasts I can do at one time, how much time I can, you know, put in us starting the uh, City Harvest Limitless Church. We had to really evaluate, Lord, if this is what you want for us, then we have to, you have to show us how to make this work in our schedule, in our lives, because, you know, we all only get the same 24 hours a day. So implement, execute, and fulfill the plan. This is your year to activate, come alive, light the fire, and play all out for Jesus. In business, in family, and in ministry, this is your year. Okay, this is what God's just telling me. And it's the choice is yours. You don't have to receive or even do what God is saying. But if you will read your Bible and you will trust him, you will see when you do what the Lord is showing you to do, your life will be awesome. Will there be trouble? Yes. But you will always have the answer. So this is your year to get that home. And now, now see, this is the prophetic that I know. God, there are people that are going to hear this and see this that are believing for a home. You are going to get that home this year. You need to believe him for this. You're going to get that job that you want this year. You're going to get that child. It's your time. If you're trying to have a baby and you haven't been able to have a baby, I'm telling you right now by the Holy Ghost, you are going to have that child. Believe it and receive it. If you believe in God for a spouse, God said there's going to be people that are getting married. They're finding their spouses this year. And then he said, if you're believing for a building, okay, 
I love that. If you maybe it's a church building, maybe it's an office building, I don't know. If you're believing for a building, it's yours this year in 2021. Begin to say that with your own mouth. I, I yes, in the name of Jesus, I receive the building. I think probably next year we're going to have to have a building. So <laughs> Then he went on and said, and I love this. His theme is 2021 is your just do it year. Just do it. Just just do it. Just do it. You know, so many times we let everything in the world stop us from doing what we know would make us happy, what we know would be in obedience to the Holy Ghost and his call on our life. So he said a reviving of dreams, visions, callings, and goals. Whew, I like that. A reviving of dreams, visions, callings, and goals. Have you ever laid down a dream or a vision or a calling or a goal? Maybe maybe your goal is to lose weight and be healthier. Maybe your goal is to open your own business. I'm not going to get ahead of myself, but I have found myself in that place, you all, where I have had dreams that I have just had to lay by the wayside because of the busyness of raising my children. Was I um, resentful? Absolutely not. I was happy as a pea, you know, happy as two peas in a pod. That's how Gary and I were raising our kids, and we were glad to do it. Could I fulfill everything that I felt like the Lord wanted us to do? No. So I kind of laid the dream aside, and it was okay. It was okay because for that time, that was what God had me doing, right? So the dream was still there. I actually literally, literally even forgot about dreams and visions for a while and when my time raising my children was over of course you never stop but you know i'm saying (laughs) they're adults i had a reviving of the dreams and the visions and the goals and i had a defining from the holy spirit of exactly what i should be doing and there's nothing like knowing and it don't even matter if it seems like it's all falling in place matter of fact if it's not might kind of be a sign that it is God because it, it it's a, sometimes it's a fight to get what God is is wanting you to do. You got to fight and stand, right? Hi, Linda. It's good to see you. That's Pastor Linda um, Karsten, a good friend of mine up from Michigan. She's known me since I was a wee little baby, <laughs> a wee little baby. All right. So God said in 2021, this is your just do it year. Just do it. Stop waiting. Stop hesitating. Stop procrastinating. Let's just do it. Let's get on this thing. Let's play it all out for Jesus and do what God is showing us to do because Jesus loves people and he wants people to know he loves them and he wants their lives to be better. And do we, have we ever, ever as a society in our lifetime ever needed Jesus more than we do right now never never before as much with with i mean it's scary to go out your front door to the grocery store y'all you can't even hug anybody that's crazy that's crazy i've never seen a worse time in my life in my lifetime and so we need jesus and how much more those of us that are strong in the word that we have a relationship with god that we are worshiping praisers we know the presence of god we know the prophetic we know the kingdom of god we know how much more do should we not be sharing what god has generously given to us to those who don't know him i could not even imagine you all living through 2020 without jesus I could never imagine that in a million years. Oh, man, that should move your heart with compassion that if you are holding back on that call of God, I tell you in the name of Jesus to step into that thing that God has called you to do. There are people that are dying. There are people that are sick. There are people that are hungry. There are people that are destitute, prostitutes, drug addicts, mentally ill should we go on there are so many people that need him they need him so bad I mean, it makes me want to cry they need him so bad and we have him and god has given you an encouraging word today because you are valuable you are precious you are called of god to reach out to others you are called of god to share the love of jesus it doesn't even take very much i'm telling you a note a text a post a a something that you take you know cookies you take to your neighbor or a phone call 
just whatever God is showing you or as much as getting on and doing Facebook lives. That's that's what I'm talking about. So God said he's bringing a reviving of dreams and visions and callings and goals. And this is what I wrote verbatim, you all. I was half asleep. And when I reread it, I knew, I knew it was God. I knew it was God because I, I, it would take me a while to think all of this, but when I read it, I was even like, oh my gosh, this is awesome. So here's what the Lord said. You want a spouse? It's your year. You want a child? It's your year. You want a career? It's your year. You want a family? Your year. You want to write a book? It's your year. You want a business? It's your year. (laughs) You want a church family? It's your year. You want to build a church? It's your year. You want a house? It's your year. You want a ministry? It's your year. 2021 is your year. You want a team to help you? It's your year. You want an orphanage? Now, I don't know where that came from, but I know someone who sees or hears this is God has put in their heart to have an orphanage. You want an orphanage? It's your year. You want to be a social media influencer? It's your year. You want a platform to speak? You want a platform? It's your year. You want a new life? It's your year. You want Jesus? It's your year. This is your year, you all. This is your year. Believe it. Believe him and believe his word. That That's what the Lord has shown me for 2021. And I am so excited. There are some things in this list that I want. Are there things in this list that you want? If the, if so, give me a shout out on, on in the comments. Give me some love on Facebook um, live. I'm going to read you a scripture, you all. I'm going to read you a scripture because it isn't just, you know, God told Julie I'm telling you, the word of God works. The word of God works. And this is what thus saith the Lord for us today. You're not watching by accident. You're not listening by accident. God has a plan and a purpose and a destiny for your life. He has a reason for you to be who he created you to be and to do what he created you to do. And it's not only to bless you, but to bless other people around you, right? Yes, I love it. So we're going to read Matthew 17, 20. And this is Jesus himself. So you don't have to take my word for it. This is Jesus himself. And Jesus said unto them, because of your unbelief, for verily I say unto you, if you, if you have faith as a grain of mustard seed, you shall say unto this mountain, remove hence to yonder place and it shall remove and nothing shall be impossible to you. I love that. Let me read it to you out of the amplified version. 1720. He said to them, this is his disciples. This is Jesus talking and he's talking to you. You haven't had, I'm telling you, we don't have things because we don't believe him. There's really nothing that you can, that you can't do in your life. If it lines up with the word of God, it is yay. Yay and amen. All right. So let's see. He said to them, because of the littleness of your faith, that is your lack of firmly relying trust. For truly, I say unto you, if you have faith that is living like a grain of mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, move from here to yonder place and it will move and nothing. I love this line and nothing will be impossible unto you. If you have the faith of a mustard seed, do you know how small a mustard seed is? What? One tenth of a pea? <laughs> just that much faith, just that much faith to believe God that when he tells you to do something, he can hate, he can accomplish it. If you will dream it, you can live it. If you will dream it, you can live it. 2021 is the year of just do it. Just do it. Oh my gosh. That is so exciting. Are you guys excited? Woo! I'm so excited. Let me see. <laughs> Hi, Don. One of my favorite verses. Yes. Isn't it amazing? I'm talking about the mountain of of um, lack. I'm talking about the mountain of needing a new job. I'm talking about the mountain of not being able to do what you want to do for God, of of procrastination. Whatever the mountain is, whatever that thing is in your way, sweetheart, you can begin to tell it, move, 
Move, move. Lack, you are gone. Lack, you are gone. I feel like that many of us have had a a sadness in our hearts through 2020, a discouragement in our our hearts for 2020. You can begin to speak the word of God. You can begin. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. If I speak to the mountain to be removed and be cast into the sea, it is removed and cast into the sea. If I agree, if any two of us agree here on earth, praying, it's done in heaven and in earth. Begin to read your Bible and begin to speak the word of God. Because God has greatness for you in 2021. This is your year to just do it. I need mountains moved in my children's lives. Amen. Amen, Don. I'm telling you, our kids do things that we would never do. The devil ropes them in, tricks them. Their friends influence them. Life influences them. They might make a choice not to serve the Lord. They might be into drugs, alcohol, whatever it is that's going on. I am telling you, we as men and women of God can speak the word of God over our children's lives. And that mountain will be removed. Be steadfast in your faith, Dawn. God said he's going to move for you. I really, really feel like God is going to move for you. There's some things about to happen, Dawn. And God says, just hang on. Don't look at the natural, but look in the spirit. Speak in the spirit over your children's lives in Jesus' name. So I just wanted to give you this encouraging word. I hope it was a blessing to you. Please, everybody, tune in tomorrow at 9 o'clock right here on my page and on Limitless Church. We're going to, I'm going to be singing. Um, we're going to be doing music. We're believing God for that piece of equipment so we can stream four or five times as, to as many places, platforms, get it out there. And yes, there are, um, you know, there are other little teeny tiny pieces of equipment that we could get that would cost half as much. But this piece costs about $1,200 and we need it. We need it. And because our studio is going to grow and we know it, God's going to make a way for us to do more. So we don't want to invest money and then have to reinvest that same $600 for half as much. And they can't be built upon. We we would have to just repurchase. So that's what we're going to do. Let me see what Don's saying. I never would have thought they would choose the lifestyles that they have. Heartbreaking. I understand, sister, but train a child in the way he or she should go and they will not depart from it. They will come home. And you know, the really cool thing about the gospel is that, hi, Greg, good to see you. The really cool thing about the gospel is we just stand and pray and the righteous prayers, let's see, the fervent prayers of a righteous man avail much. So when people who don't know him are ready, it's there. It, it, it's We've made a, a bunch available to them in the spirit, a bunch of God's love, a, a bunch of God's saving grace, his mercy. You know what I mean? All of these things. So, honey, just be encouraged, Dawn. I know God is going to move. I have another friend that's believing for her child to come back. I'm telling you, women, let's just pray for each other, men and women, and believe for these children to serve the Lord. And the cool thing that I love is that we don't know the heart of a man. We can look at their lifestyle. We can hear their words. We can kind of know where they're living. But we will not be there on their deathbed, and it can be one breath. And I'm not saying that's what I'm believing for our children, but I know people that have lived a horrible, hellish life. And at the last second possible, with their last breath, they can ask Jesus into into their heart. I love that. But no, I believe our children are going to walk with us in the spirit, walk with us uh, with Jesus, with Father God as their father, and they're going to serve him. This is what I say over my children. They are going to live a long, happy, healthy, prosperous life, and they are going to serve Jesus every single day of their life. And I don't care what it looks like. I don't care how they're living. I am going to love them unconditionally, and I am going to believe what the Word of God says. I trained up a child in the way they should go, and they will not depart from it. They will come back to the Lord. They will, Don. so be encouraged. Be encouraged. I love you guys so, so much. I, I really hope this was an encouragement to you. I want to thank you so much for listening to the Julie Tussie Show podcast, for watching on Facebook Live, and for watching Julie Tussie Television right here on YouTube. I am going to pray for you now. 
Father, I thank you for each and every person that hears and sees this broadcast. Lord, I just ask you to bring a blessing to them. I ask you to stir within them, God. Revive those dreams, those visions, those goals, those things that you have for them, Father God. Revive that in them and let them come alive again and play it all out for you, Jesus. I ask you, Father, for an anointing to fall on each and every one. I thank you that every need is met. I thank you that every bill is paid. I thank you that everything they need is completely fulfilled by you. Father, those without jobs, I ask you to move in a powerful way. Give them favor and open jobs unto them, Father, right now. Lord, I thank you, God, that they will begin to have faith in their heart. I decree faith in their heart. I decree favor over their lives. I decree finances to fulfill that dream. I decree that that business that's in their heart will become a reality. I decree, God, that by the word of God and the words of their own mouths, they will live the life that you've called them to. So God, make a way where there is no way. I thank you for rescue for the drug addict. I thank you that you bring our children home, that you bring the prodigals back, God. And that the men and women of God that are called to ministry, God, that you would have an encounter with them, a supernatural encounter with them, Father God, that they would know your voice, hear your voice clearly, see in your word that that you have and make a way for them to reach the multitudes, Father. In your mighty name, we thank you for healings. We thank you for prosperity. And we thank you, Father God, most of all, for an intimate and personal relationship with you for each and every person that comes across our path in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. I love you guys so much. And until next time, this is Julie Tussie telling you, you only get one awesome, amazing, and wonderful life. Live it to the fullest with Jesus. There you go. And thank you so much for tuning in to Grace Girls and Company, the podcast today. We are so glad, so glad that you joined us. Now, I want to tell you a couple of things. Number one, I love you. Number two, Jesus loves you so much. I pray that your day is blessed. I pray that your week is blessed. I pray that your life is blessed. Every need is met in the name of Jesus and every bit of the call of God on your life is fulfilled. Reach out to me at thisgracegirllife at gmail.com. You are listening to the Grace Girls and Company podcast where dreams really do come true. We'd like to invite you to become partners with us at The Voice. You can go to TussieOnline.com and you can give a one-time offering or become a partner there. We will do everything we can to make this the easiest thing you've ever done. Going to make it simple. You can also go to Venmo, The Voice, I-N-C, and you can go to the Cash App, Cash Symbol, The Voice, I-N-C. It's as simple as that. All gifts are tax deductible. Thank you so much, you all. Thank you so much for listening to the Grace Girls and Company podcast and the Julie Tussie Show podcast. I appreciate you. I want you to know this. Jesus loves you, and I love you so, so much. Until we talk next time, God bless you. You are not created to be ordinary, but extraordinary. You are not created to be common, but uncommon. You are not created to be average, but above average. You are not created to be tolerable or passable. No, but you are created to be remarkable, noteworthy, impressive, striking, outstanding, brilliant, excellent, superb, praiseworthy. We could go on and on about how awesome you are. If you want answers to health problems other doctors couldn't solve, like hormone imbalance, fatigue, weight gain, and mood issues, go to Dr. Shannon Pierce and the Journey to Wellness. You can find her on Facebook. Again, you can find Dr. Shannon Pierce on Facebook. The Facebook page, Thyroid and Hormones Women's Support Group. Let them know Julie sent you. Dr. Shannon Pierce and The Journey to Wellness is an official sponsor of The Julie Tussie Show and The Grace Girls and Company Podcast. 
So many women are reaching out to me and asking why my skin is looking younger and younger. Well, I started on my Neora journey three months ago, and I have to tell you, I'm calling this a facelift in a bottle. If you'd like to get your skincare set today, visit julietussie.neora.com. That's julietussie.neora.com. You can also reach out to me at This Grace Girl Life at gmail.com with any questions and inquiries. Thank you so much, everybody, for all that you do. I'm so appreciative of you, the listeners. If you are in the United States, if you're in Paris, if you're in London, if you're in the Netherlands, if you're in Australia, North Korea, wherever you're listening from, and yes, those are places where everyone has listened, we love you. I love you very, very much, and Jesus loves you. So please share the podcast with your friends and family, and until next week, we'll see you soon. Hey, if you'd like me to come and share with your women's group or your church meeting or set up a concert in your area, give me a holler. I'd love to come. You can reach me at the Julie Tussie Show at gmail.com.